Also right now at 5 o'clock, a betrayal of the badge. After a lengthy investigation, a local police officer is now facing charges accused of trying to pay a woman for sex. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane has been following the story for us today. He's live with the mobile newsroom right now in the Elm City with some reaction from the mayor. Matt. Well, Mark, this investigation goes back into the spring. That's when the department here was first notified of the allegations. The officer in question, he turned himself into police yesterday. Today, the mayor is weighing in on what is now the fourth Elm City officer to get arrested in the last three months. New Haven Police Officer Christopher Troche, a three-year member of the force, is facing charges after his own department arrested him, accusing him of patronizing a prostitute. It's concerning when an officer violates the public trust. According to New Haven Police, it was back in April when a woman approached an officer on patrol, reporting what's being described as unwanted contact by Officer Troche. That officer made a report, New Haven's Internal Affairs Division was alerted, and Troche was placed on administrative leave. We're told after months of investigating, detectives turned their case over to the state's attorney's office, with Troche turning himself in on Sunday. This type of situation, it really damages uh, the public trust, but I think what's important is the chief and the rest of her team took quick action and made sure that that officer was held accountable. While the arrest warrant remains sealed and we're told the chief was out of the office today and unavailable, in a statement, the New Haven Police Department said, the New Haven Police Department takes all complaints on officers that violate the public's trust serious. It was extremely important to this investigation that the victim trusted that the New Haven Police Department would take the complaint serious and fully investigate, regardless of the nature and immigration status. Troche is now the third Elm City officer to get arrested in November. One officer was arrested earlier this month in connection to a family violence incident, and another was charged in a domestic violence episode. And back in the summer, a New Haven officer was killed in a Las Vegas car crash. The driver of the car, a fellow New Haven officer who was arrested, accused of driving under the influence. But Mayor Justin Elliker says those recent arrests are not reflective of the entire department and its 300 plus members. We deeply care about the public, we care about our community, and that trust is a foundation in our ability to get things done. Now we reached out to the president of the Elm City Local, that's the local police union here. He did not respond. As for Officer Troche, he remains on administrative leave. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.